Hello there, I'm Dave from Dino Bike and today we're playing with a Yamaha MT-09 This is the Tracer version, it's an early model one, 2015 and we are fitting what we call a stage 3 kit to this one it's a DNA stage 3 which what that means is we're taking the slot gear box here, basically throwing it away and we've replaced it with a DNA air filter arrangement which as you can see there it's all air filter so there's absolutely no restrictions whatsoever uh, I've, I've fitted it and now we're about to put it on the dyno tune it to suit and then we'll see what it's like compared to what it was with that stock airbox on it Here we have it, uh, MT-09, as I said earlier, we've removed the airbox and put the DNA Stage 3 kit onto it and tuned it to suit. It already has a Yoshimura full system on it. I've tuned it, now we're going to compare it. And the comparison is actually pretty good, I have to say. We've got, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> Excuse me, <clears throat> let me just look this up. We have got, uh, as soon as I can find it, uh, okay, so the bike came in, as I said, with the exhaust on it, uh, a standard airbox, it was putting out 96 horsepower was only revving to 9,008 RPM in fourth and that is, as I've discussed in previous videos, that these bikes are actually speed limited. <clears throat> uh, and the Tracer is lim speed limited to about roughly 190 odd kilometers an hour. So we've removed the speed limiter, we've tuned it, and as I said, we've put the DNA Stage 3 kit in it. It is now producing 116 horsepower <clears throat> uh, and that's a fairly sizable increase over what it was uh, with just the exhaust on it but not tuned so really I mean that's not enough information for us to say well okay this is a this is a great thing to go ahead and do um, because we need to see a bike that's been tuned and has been has, has had the, the, all the restrictions removed um, to make a comparison. So I haven't done this bike obviously, but I've got another one that's been done uh, Has an Akropovich full system on it <clears throat> It's producing peak horsepower wise. It's fairly similar numbers at well, Actually a little lower. It's producing 112 horsepower, which quite frankly MT-09 Tracer SXR9 uh, With a decent exhaust and tune. That's about what they put out so I can safely say that yes, we've got a little bit of an improvement in the top end performance, but but what's what's quite important 
about this is that from 6,000 to uh, 9,500 RPM, it's actually got another good 10 horsepower right through that rev range over one that has uh, the exhaust to tune and the stock airbox. So that is really quite significant. It's something that you would notice on the road. You definitely feel the difference uh, that that would make. So for example, we'll, we'll I'll just zoom in on this quickly for you. At 6,000 RPM, uh, the stock bike with just this exhaust on it, 63 horsepower, uh, one that's had a tune and all the all the restrictions removed was 65 horsepower so a slight increase but the DNA stage 3 uh, is 73 horsepower so that's uh, 10 horsepower over what this bike was originally and about 7 or 8 horsepower more than one that's been tuned with a stock airbox so if we jump up to 7 grand <clears throat> 7 grand uh, stock I mean this bike 76 horsepower uh, our bike 87 horsepower so there's like a little bit over 10 horsepower um, the the tuned version is showing 80 got we've now got on this one 87 so on and so on um, right through to nine nine and a half grand so the moral of the story is that yes this is this is a great bike a great modification to make to this bike um, and it is quite a, a noticeable increase in performance I think it's better than cutting the stock airbox it just seems to work much better than that we have done those as well but I'm not going to go into all of that now because we could sit here for hours analyzing all this stuff um, I'm going to pop these three graphs up for you in a moment so you can see the difference that the airbox makes over a standard airbox and a tune over this one which has not got any tune on it <clears throat> so you can see pretty clearly there the differences that each one of those modifications has made to the bike <clears throat> and I will leave you with it so below us you will see just down here there's a highlight or a, a link there that which will take you to the online store where you can purchase the stage 3 DNA airbox there's also uh, exhaust systems uh, there you can purchase as well. You can even buy the tune online and buy the DNA uh, Stage 3 box. Send us your ECU. We'll write the file to it and Send it all back to you and then you should do is assemble it. The assembly is Reasonably straightforward. You need to have some experience uh, Mechanically wise working on motorcycles, but it is rel Relatively straightforward so not for beginners uh, but you don't have to be an expert either. <clears throat> anyway, so I will leave you with that and move on to the next one. Thanks for watching. I'm Dave from Dino Bike.